you were sacked from the BBC. I think it's fair to say you weren't you weren't happy about it. What uh, what happened there? Um, I wasn't happy with the way that they they dealt with me. Basically, I've been there nearly twenty five years. Great, but I was just signing one year contracts, season to season, mm. and I, I got a phone call probably late March. So my contracts would have been up in what end of June. And the guy came on to me, and I was only doing football focus then, just every other one and stuff like that. But um, he said, oh, he said, um, he said, we're taking football focus on the road next year. And I went, all oh, right. He says, you won't want to go, will you? Right. And I went, well, it would have been nice to have been asked. He <laughs> yeah. said, well, no. And I went, so basically, I'm gone. He went, no, oh, no, no, don't, don't put it like that. Don't put it like that. And I went, yeah, yeah, I'm gone. I'm gone. But I, I kind of knew it was coming. Okay. And the thing that really pissed me off was instead of ringing me and saying, look, you've had a great run, thanks very much, yeah. and, you know, we're going in a different direction, it was, and I thought, oh, typical typical BBC. Basically, I'm, I was, what, 65 and white, and good night, Lucy. Right. But, uh, you know, yeah. there's, there's a few of us, isn't there? Um, Steve Wright, who's just passed away, obviously, which, um, God love him. I think uh, they pushed him out, didn't they? He just did a... Sunday morning program on the radio. Um, Ken Bruce was another one. He spotted it early. He got out. And Sue Barker. And I know they asked Sue Barker to say that, you know, she'd had a great time and all that, and it was her decision. And about three weeks later, she she did this article and went, no, it wasn't. They just mm. asked me to say that. But hey, it, it is what it is, isn't it? Do you think the BBC's gone woke? I mean, you mentioned around. Oh, gone woke? Right. It's, unbelievable. it's top of the woke league. Okay. It's, un, it's uh, they're frightened to death absolutely totally frightened to death and um well you've seen the stuff with with gary haven't you with gary lineker and and mm. and obviously people at the head of bbc and it's just i don't know it's um i think day by day i think the integrity of the of, of the corporation actually gets chipped off okay. every, every day because it, i mean it used to be absolutely fantastic but um oh the, they are woke plus 100%. When you say they're, they're terrified to death, what do you think they're actually afraid of? I think they're just, they're, they're frightened because they say to everybody, you can't say this, you can't do that. And it's just, look, it's somebody's opinion. Mm. And um, I mean, the thing with Gary, with Gary Lineker was that <clears throat> he works for himself. Right. So he's entitled to his own own opinion, which, you know, and, and obviously rightly or wrongly, he's got an opinion about everything. Mm. Um, even in the inside of a ping pong ball. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, it's they're just they, it's and you, you used to go on the program and you know you obviously had your, your ears headset in your ears and everything like that mm. and uh, they'd be talking to you and obviously from the gallery and somebody'd ask a question and like you'd you'd want to jump in and they go no don't say anything don't say anything and you go what really and that that got to me a bit in the end so Hanson Hanson was the best. Finished after the World Cup in Brazil. Yeah. I'm done. And he's not done anything since for anybody apart from Kenny got an award, didn't he? BBC achievement, lifetime achievement. And, um, and Al went and um, gave him his trophy on the, on the telly and stuff. But mm. um, maybe I should have just done that. But it was, you know, I had a great run. Out of it, but it's just, it's just changed. But the world's changed, hasn't it? Yeah. Completely. Yeah. And you don't, I mean, some of the, th it's, some of the things you would not say get away with, but you could just say just now, just absolutely impossible. It's interesting to think about, like, is a BBC, are they reacting to, as you say, the world's changed? Or one, are they one of the organisations that's pushed it in that direction? No, I think, no, I think, I think they were caught out, weren't they? In, okay. in, in many, many ways. And that's why, I mean, there's been so much change there. Um, certainly, certainly in the sport, um, and obviously they've lost quite a few rights. I mean, they've still got Match Today, which is massive. I think they've got it for another four years as well, which is which is good. I'm, I'm reading this morning that they might lose the um, FA Cup. Right. Okay. Um, is it TNT? Yeah. Is that, yeah, I think TNT. They have the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think I think apparently they're going to they're going to bid, which is which is difficult for the BBC. But they, whereas I mean, lots of the programmes that they have are, are brilliant. Match Today is just great, isn't it? Mm. It's fab. Um, and it does what it says on the tin, and they, they have to. If they hadn't kept that, I mean, they would. It would be good night Vienna, basically, from a football point of view. Yeah. But um, 
Yeah, they've just, they've been very slow to react. But I think the problem is, is that there's just this massive chain and they just, they all seem, it's like I'm, I have this picture of about 20 blokes sat around a table trying to make a decision. Um, right, okay. And I might be wrong because it might be only 19, but it's like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when, and when I finished, is it, is it Tim Davey? Is, I think he's a top man, is he? I think, I right. think that's his name. And uh, he sent me a really, really nice kind of letter. And I, and I just looked at it and thought, oh, that's quite nice. I'd never spoken to him in my life. Mm, and I, yeah. I'm not even sure he wrote it. Okay. Anyway. His secretary or something. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Or oh, the cleaner, one of the two. <laughs> okay. I mean, do you think the BBC's, is it going to have longevity? I, I find it weird the funding for the BBC coming from the fact that if you own a television, mm. you, I've explained that to people like Americans, for example, and they think it's, oh, it's absolutely mad. bonkers. That, yeah. What, just because you have a TV, you have to buy a service from this company, whether you use it or not? That yeah. seems very strange. It, well, it is strange, isn't it? And I think, look, um, we're sat here, what, February, and there's going to be a general election happening in the next two or three months. So um, I wouldn't mind betting that, that Labour has something to say about it mm. and basically that... It'll, it'll be scrapped. And right. also, I mean, how many people watch terrestrial TV? Yeah. Generally yeah. now. And I mean, like I have everything in, in the yeah. house. Yeah. And, and I almost forget to put terrestrial TV on. Yeah. Um, that's just one of those quizzes at four o'clock in the afternoon, which, <laughs> you know, the one where the, the, do you know the one I mean on ITV? I don't think I no, do. No, right, okay. It's like, honestly, you, you start watching it and you're just thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> And actually, and There's the next thing is it's like finished. That, yeah, there is. There? And the next thing is that it's, it's finished and, it's, and it's, it hooks you in. Right, it's just okay. like, and it's the simplest of things. But I mean, yeah, the, the, whole, the whole thing's changed, hasn't it? This is just a small clip from my one hour plus conversation with Mark Lawrenson. If you want to watch the full video, you can do so right here. 